Okay, so I have everything working. Um, start off, I'll show the, the setup. Um, I have an OBD2 uh, shell adapter here, which is the two wires running to the CAN high and CAN low interfaces. Um, that loops around over here to the Pi being powered by the in car power. Uh, and it attaches to this shield that I have, uh, my CAN shield. Um, that way it can um, help decipher the the CAN interface as the code is being pushed through. And then I'm SSH'd into my local network, to my laptop here, so that we can uh, check and see what's going on. Um, we'll start off and we'll run um, a generic code just to show what's going on on the local network. Uh, so it's cycling through quite a few frames, very high rate of speed. Uh, the bit rate's like, can't remember what it was specifically for my car. Um, there's generic numbers, but this one uh, worked for mine. So I'm cycling through, I'm getting a lot of data. Uh, it, it is a lot of nonsense because um, the packets can't be um, ciphered by me at this point. But we'll stop that. Um, I can also send it into a log file to review later, which is what I'm going to have to do if I'm going to be able to reverse engineer any of this. Um, and I can just do a dash L and it'll send it to a log. Take that one back right there. Okay, and it's sending it to my log here, um, which is good. Um, means I can go through and see if I can find any repeating things. Um, while it's logging, I can flip lights on in my car. Uh, blinkers, uh, lights on and off, Put my windows down and up, door locks, um, and if I can time it right with a video, I'd be able to decipher hopefully what exactly was going on while I did that. Uh, and then if we want to look at that log, it's the can dump, and then the date. We'll just do the one we just did. One, nine, three, seven. Maybe that should be enough to tab through. Yep. Okay. All right, and that's that's what it found. That's what it captured while we were running that. And it logged it so that I can go through and maybe run it through a secondary program to help find um, similar commands um, as far as the identifier or the actual coding inside of it. Um, this is the this is the identifier. Um, as, as as far as the ID of where it's being sent, um, this is going to be the bit that's being or the information that's being sent in. Um, and then there's I think it um, concatenated a little bit of that end. Um, there's something at the end of, the, of this packet that's also supposed to help identify um, uh, the end of a message. So I think they just concatenated it. Um, and then you notice some of these are a lot shorter than others, so there's not as much information to send. Or it's probably an error code, because uh, um, there's just nothing to send. I don't know why it would send nonsense, or send zero information, but we never know. It could be something that I did. Um, this is about halfway through it, where I started messing with my uh, doors and locks and stuff, so maybe that's something that I did personally. So, But once I get this logged through a different file, maybe like a Wireshark file, that I can sniff through, I can get a little more information and maybe be able to resend this in um, to do something. But just the fact that I'm able to connect directly to the CAN network and sniff out these packets um, is somewhat of a proof of concept that I should be able to alter and resend them back in because um, I'm on that same line. Um, <clears throat> while I was at it, I was looking for a wiki page to see if there's any information as far as the uh, manufacturer goes and uh, manufacturers do not like to share their CAN network information uh, most of the stuff is proprietary except for the random stuff that um, like windows and certain things like that uh, certain functions that uh, don't need to be um, proprietary to them for whatever reason but this is um, no information whatsoever there's there is information on certain stuff like Audi and uh, Volkswagen they seem to be a pretty good test bed Ford has a little bit of information as well just because uh, 
you had to pick some sort of American company to start with, and Ford was the one that a lot of people have started to look to look into since they have so much code. Uh, but that's where I'm at so far. Hopefully, I can get some more in the future.